How's it going everybody? This is Paul from Paul's Predatory Fish coming at you with another video today. We are going to be reviewing the Fluval T-Series heaters today. So stick around and we'll get right into it. Here's a quick overview of the packaging that comes with the Fluval T300 heaters. They're packaged quite nicely. Very, very cool packaging. They've got all, all the pictures of the heater on there. You've got 300 watts. There's a three-year warranty. You, it comes with a two-year warranty plus a bonus year. You've got pictures of the heater on the sides and some information on the back. So on the front of the box, it has digital accuracy, electronic reliability, and a safety shutoff feature, which is very, very cool. So the safety shutoff feature is awesome in my opinion. What this does is if your tank accidentally leaks or if your heater uh, comes out of the water during a water change, say you drain the tank too low and your heater comes up out of the water, it will sense that there is no water and it will automatically shut off so it doesn't cook and burn out on you, which is a really, really awesome feature. On the side here, it has a picture of the bottom tip of the heater, which it has the heater guard on there. It is a rubber tip to protect the heater from bumping around. On the back side, we have a 360 heat indicator light. This I really like, so that way you can tell your heater is on from any angle. You can walk around any side of the tank and it will be lit up in a band around while the heater is working on warming up your tank, it'll always be a red light to let you know that it is in the process of heating. Once the heater has reached the temperature desired, it'll turn blue and you'll have a blue band 360 all the way around. I really like that option because it lets you know whether or not it's on or if it's in standby mode basically. So you'll always have a good idea whether or not your heater is working. Making our way down the box, you have labeled all the different T-Series heaters that Fluval has to offer. You have the T50, the T100, the T150, the T200, and the T300, which is what we are reviewing today. The T300 for 300 watts. So the box itself, like I mentioned before, is very professionally packaged. Fluval always does a really nice job of packaging their items and products. Very pretty, very well detailed. Lots of imagery on there, straight to the point. So let's get right into it. As you can see, you open it up, there is some nice foam inside to protect that heater from any damage during shipping, traveling. You take that nice brick of foam out, you look down inside, you can see the heater's dial. We'll pull that right out for you guys. This is a really nice heater. You've got the styrofoam run all the way through on the bottom side as well. The rubber tip inside the styrofoam. It is actually a hard plastic, not rubber, I'm sorry. And that goes right on like that. I'm sure you slide this off first. And then you put that hard plastic tip on there. So as you can see, this is a really nice heater, guys. It is... Um, very durable and rugged. You can feel that it's a really solid material. It is a glass material, but it is very solid. It's got the dial on the top here for the different temperature settings. And we will plug this in and show you guys the red light versus the blue light. So this is a really nice heater. The minimum water line. 300 watts and all the other fluval information so let's go put this in the tank guys and we'll show you how it works before i forget it comes with a little instruction manual with all the different fluval t-series heaters you can open this up and you can read this at will basically some instructions and some safety instructions as well so read that if you'd like 
We'll put that back in the box. And make sure to save your box and all your receipts, guys, because like I said, there is a three-year warranty on these heaters. So if something goes wrong, make sure you have your receipt on hand available and uh, make sure you keep your heater, the box, and you can contact Fluval and I'm sure they will send you a new one as long as you have proof of purchase. and all T series Google heaters come with this little package in the bottom of the box as well. You open it up and it comes with a clip that goes on the back of the heater. These little things which hold suction cups so you can mount the heater and then you've got two suction cups. So these suction cups you can take and you place right into the back of that and slide them into place to lock them in. All locked in, not coming off. And then you take that and you snap it right over that and then you're ready to go. That is a really cool design. I love how these suction cups get locked into place like that. They're not going anywhere. They're not gonna fall off relatively easy. Very cool. Let's go stick this in the tank. Before we stick it in the tank, we are just gonna make sure we've got it set to about 79 degrees. We just stuck the Fluval T300 series heater in my 150 gallon tank. This is what the heater looks like with the blue indicator ring letting you know that the tank has reached the desired temperature. I have this set to 79, so that must mean that the water is at 79 degrees. We gave the heater about 15 to 20 minutes to really heat this tank up. The T300 is rated for 80 gallon tanks, but I foresee it having no issues heating this 150 gallon tank. My basement where all my tanks are stay pretty warm, and once the tanks are at the desired temperature they they usually stay that way with the, the room temperature so i think this t300 is going to be perfect for this 150 gallon tank here's my paraiba filamentosum catfish he's about 10 inches give or take and his streamers and whiskers are about 15 maybe 12 inches long so he is for sale if any of you guys are interested, hit me up on Instagram. He'll be local pickup, but he's going to enjoy that new Fluval T300. between 78 and 80 degrees. I am very happy with that. We've got a nice blue light on that Fluval T300, meaning that we have achieved the temperature desired. And I would say we definitely have. Don't mind the water. It is a little hazy from a water change we did yesterday. But here is a good example of the red indication light 360 on the T300 Fluval series heaters. Once they have heated up, they'll turn blue and that'll let you know that the water is perfect. Here's a nice example of that blue light again. Really nice with all the lights off. You can come downstairs and even when it's pitch black, you'll know 
that that is working. That is a really, really great option. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed the review of the Fluval T-Series heaters. They're a really great heater and I am so happy to be able to be using them in my tank. They look great and they absolutely do a wonderful job at heating the tank. And like I said earlier, I really, really enjoy the fact that it has that 360 illumination light that goes all the way around in a band. So you know whether the lights are on or off that that heater is on, that it's working, or if it is on standby mode, which is awesome. So go show Fluval some love, check their products out. They've got products ranging from heaters to filters to aquarium substrate, you name it, they've got it. Go check Fluval out. Thank you guys as always. If you like this video, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to ring that notification bell as well so anytime I drop a new video, you get notified. Thanks guys. Have a good night.